channel. So today we're going to make macaroni and cheese. I'm not sure if I've ever met anyone who doesn't like macaroni and cheese. Um, this was my childhood favorite dish. Um, I was so surprised at how quick it is in the Instapot. You can make this as a side dish or a main dish for your kids. So let me show you how beautiful this came out. It's creamy, cheesy, luscious, and it was 15 minutes cooking time total with prepping and the whole thing with the pressure, less than 30 minutes. So come along with me and let's get started. Let's go over the list of ingredients needed for this recipe. Of course, the main ingredient is some cheddar cheese. Uh, you need two and a half cups of it. About a quarter to a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. About two and a half cups of elbow macaroni. I like the large ones. One tablespoon of butter and three ounces of cream cheese, about three quarters cup of milk. And you're gonna need to divide this during the recipe. Some onion powder, about a teaspoon. A teaspoon and a half of dry mustard. About a quarter teaspoon of seasoned salt quarter teaspoon of black pepper and let's get started. I like to put the saute function on to warm up the Instapot a little bit while I'm adding in all the ingredients. First you're going to add in your water, three cups of water, two and a half cups of macaroni, your butter, onion powder, dry mustard, seasoned salt and pepper and put the Instapot on manual mode on high and it's only going to be cooking for six minutes. Now that it's turned on, we're going to wait. Once it's done, do a quick release, give it a good stir, throw in your cream cheese, and keep stirring till it's melted. You will notice liquid in here, but that's fine. The water is going to become part of the sauce. So I add in a quarter cup of milk, and I'm going to dump in both cheeses, the Parmesan and the cheddar. Give it a good stir and keep adding milk till it gets to the consistency that you're looking for. In this case, I'm gonna put it into a glass baking dish, or you can serve it up with some green onions, some favorite sausage of yours. And there you have it. Easy mac and cheese in the Instapot. I wanna thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna make a comment, please comment down below. I appreciate any feedback. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.